Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just have a short haul for you. Um, I know that everyone's anticipating I still need to finish my big birthday haul. And I just went locally to my favorite store does half price once a month. Um, and I went in there and got some things. And then right now in our community is the garage sale days. And I know I'm not supposed to be buying anything. I promised my husband I would not buy anything until I listed 500 items and I made myself a 500 item listing challenge. And I actually am going to start updating you on that every week. But I broke the rules. I broke the rules and got some things today. Um, tomorrow I will be setting up our own yard sale and I will not be buying anything, I promise. two small bags um, from some garage sales and some other places that I went today. Now I am trying to break out of just reselling clothes. I recently scanned a bunch of our old video games and books and I'm just trying to break out of my element and learn something new. Um, but this I thought was really cool. Um, this is one of those silver spoon bracelets that someone made. Um, and I got this at a garage sale that's like close to my house. Um, I thought that was cute. And they also, I saw this belt buckle. There was so much jewelry there and they had it all in these trinket trays. And I was trying to see if any of it was silver or worth money. And then I just gave up, but I did see this belt buckle and I was like, man, that looks neat. And I thought maybe it was from like American Eagle or a USA belt buckle. Um, and it's actually a vintage Avon. This is Avon right here. It's a military honorary specialty buckle that Avon did. So that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm super proud of myself. These are kind of a weird color. They're like a blue green color. Um, these are vintage. You can read this one better. Laredo boots. And they're in a size eight and a half. And right now these are selling close to $100, um, especially the weird colors. Um, and I found these at our regular thrift store, which I don't go in very often. Um, our regular thrift store does vouchers and they help in the community a lot. And a lot of that stuff is set back to help others. Um, and then they have like a store inside there as well. Um, they're actually building a new center downtown where they're going to put it in with the birthing center and the moms um, will be able to get formula for their kids and stuff like that. And then they're going to put the store in another corner. And then they're also going to have some offices down there to help people in need. So they're trying to clear out a lot of things before they make that move. And... I was super shocked. These were $5. And like I said, they're selling for like $100. I got my daughter a, a doll thing in there that was for her like 18 inch dolls. And it was only $1.99. And it was like a full set. So that's pretty cool. Um, these are kind of just some random items I picked up today. Just mostly fillers. Um, I live pretty far out in the country. And Finds like this is not usual around here. Um, and I've also gotten better at doing this through the years. Um, this I got from our local consignment shop that I love so much. Um, these are like purple faux leather pants. Um, they're actually loft. Um, they're the newer loft tag, which is black. The older one is white. Um, and it was half price day, so this was, these were five bucks. And they have like this pleated, I think that those will do good. Oh, this is in the bag. I got this Beanie Boop and I didn't know if my daughter would like it or not. Um, but I have been watching some other people's channels and seeing that these are getting so popular on eBay. So I figured if she didn't like the one that we got, then I would just sell it. Again, I'm trying to break out of my reselling a little bit and try new things. These are a pair of Sundance linen pants. Um, 
These were $6. They're showing up way darker orange than what they actually are. They're like a lighter orange. But they're just these boho pants, super cute. Okay, and this is a little dingy. I'm going to have to clean it, and I know that it's dingy. Um, it's just an H&M Rolling Stones collab graphic tee, and I actually have another one of these in my closet right now that's an American Eagle collab. Um, this was $3, so I'll soak that and hopefully it comes out. This is just a Altered State graphic tee just says darling it's kind of like a crop style this is probably really cheap too yeah 350 this is just a harley davidson graphic tee and it's got harley down the sleeves and it's a waffle knit um it's so small kind of got like roses across it. Um, I actually worked for Harley Davidson for five years and people that know me still think it's weird because I'm not like a biker or anything, but Harley Davidson is really big in our town. We have one of the oldest dealerships in the country. Um, I worked for them in the finance department for five years, but I do know a lot about their clothing too. So this is just like a regular Harley shirt. I was super excited to find these at the consignment shop. They're a pair of lemon black pants. And she did say that there's a tiny hole. It's actually right on the seam. It's right on the seam. I'm just going to actually stitch it into the seam. And it's just kind of coming apart. It won't be any big deal. But these were only $4. And they're a size 2. So I'll make that repair and you won't even know. This is just an H by um, Halstein, which is sold at like Nordstrom. Um, it's just this maroon top. It does have like a spot like back here, which I'm going to soak. I think it will come off. It was only $3. This, I kind of went outside my realm again. Um, this is a new tag, but it's an older Victoria's Secret lingerie tie, like little cover or like a robe type thing. And it is silk and it's still new with tags. This was only $3 at the consignment shop and maybe with that whole fad where people are wearing like the bralette tops with like the vest maybe someone will buy that it's kind of the wrong season because it's valentine's day i bet that's why that ended up being on sale because valentine's day is over um this is a mave um from anthropology it's this weird checked plaid with a green overlay that's like this mesh floral detail and it has like this cute ribbons that you can have the necktie but this is one of those things you know um you're gonna have to find the stock photo for but it's just so cute i don't know what i paid for that oh, look that one was seven dollars so a little bit more money. And then this is just a plain American Eagle eyelet little tank. Um, but it was just $3.50. So I went ahead and picked that up. Okay, and I'm getting to some more. This I got at the garage sale that I got the bracelet and the bell buckle at. This is a church does this garage sale and it's kind of like free donation. But this is a brand new Vera Bradley. Um, I don't know if it's a makeup case or a pencil case. But 
Vera Bradley is actually manufactured um, about an hour and a half away from here, or like an hour, I guess I would say. And so I don't pick it up very often because I find it by the bucket loads. Um, but this was basically free because I had already had a bag and it was free oil donation. And I did get another VR Bradley bag today. Um, I got this at the thrift store. This was like $2.50. And it's brand new. Um, I really like the wild print. Um, I do pick up like the prints that I don't see very often. I don't pick up any of the navy and reds because that is like super saturated. Um, and I see the navy and red printed stuff all the time. Um, I try to pick up the weird sized things and stuff that's different like cute little embroidered maybe like change purses like something like this pencil bag I'll pick up the stuff that's different and this is definitely different the pattern this is just a um knit a waffle knit like moto jacket and it's from sanctuary which Sanctuary retails for a lot, but it doesn't resell um, for very good. But I thought the jacket was cute. Oh, this person actually gave me their hanger when I went to their yard sale, which I probably need hangers. We all know we've got tons of stuff, right? This is another Harley Davidson piece. This is a men's 3X button down. Um, and it's actually a rarer label and I paid five dollars for this I'll probably sell it for around 40 okay y'all are gonna think I'm crazy and I know this might be controversial but there's like this weird thing with potato heads now like people say you can't call him mr. potato head or mrs. potato head I don't know I don't care but <laughs> I got a Mr. Potato Head. Um, and this is the 90s Toy Story version of Mr. Potato Head. And I'm gonna throw this, this up on eBay. And just see, sorry, that's noisy. <laughs> All the pieces rattling around inside of them. I am just going to throw this Mr. Potato Head up on eBay and I'm gonna see what happens. I just thought maybe it would be something I could try. And I think most of the pieces are with it. Okay, these are the last few items that I got here. Because, again, I'm trying to get different things that are new and just trying them out. Um, this is a pair of women's vintage Wrangler jeans. And these are from the 80s. I actually think that they are... Yeah, they got adjustable waist, so these might be a kid's, but I don't know if I'm going to cut these into shorts or if I'm going to leave them like they are. I think they would make a cute pair of distressed shorts. And I kind of broke my rules on this brand, but I thought this would be really cute with a swimsuit cover-up. I'm definitely not picking up LuLaRoe anymore. But this is a LuLaRoe um, kimono. And the colors aren't really showing up as bright as what they are in person. But it's got like this fun print. And I thought someone would want this to go over a bathing suit or something like that. Um... So I did pick it up. This is the only, this is an extra small Lucky Brands pineapple t-shirt. I actually sold one of these recently um, that was teal and it was in a kid's size. So I picked that up. And this is something that is completely out of my wheelhouse. Again, I'm trying to like break my mold a little bit this month and list things that are completely different from me. Because being a reseller, we all have our things and we all like to thrift certain things that we know about. But I rarely take a chance on stuff. And today I was just on one of those moods where I'm like, 
I'm going to try this. So I got the vintage Wranglers that I already showed you these. Well, I was going around the corner and I put these back, but then I picked them up again. Um, these are vintage wool sweatshirts. Um, with all this embroidery, this is like made to last. Um, it was made in the 80s. Look at that rose print. I was like, okay, do I put them back? Do I keep them? I know that there would be so many vintage resellers that would like freak out over that because it's just so pretty. And then this one was next to it. Um, and it's got roses and it's just very pretty. And the lady at the thrift store was like, I don't know if we would sell those. And I'm like, I don't know. I just saw it and something says that that, like this would sell. So I got a couple items to uh, learn with. And if they don't work out, I'll let you guys know. But I'm being completely honest, like the Mr. Potato Head is a toy. I don't normally sell toys. I don't normally sell jewelry, but I got two pieces of that today. And I don't sell vintage, and I got vintage today. So um, this is pushing me a little bit to learn some things. And who knows, maybe I am leaving money behind in the thrift store and don't know it. So again, that was my short little haul. Um, and I have another haul coming up, the rest of them for my birthday trip. And I am going to update you guys tomorrow on my 500 item listing challenge. I'm gonna let you know how many items I listed and what sold this week.